Hi everybody. Um, so as promised, we're going to talk today about um, Facebook ads. Um, actually not using Facebook ads. We're going to talk about organic engagement on Facebook. Um, so I want to let people get on. I'm going to go ahead and share this into my group Design Create Conquer um, and on my Facebook page. So just sit tight for a second if you're watching. So slow. Cheer. Cheer. All right. So today we're going to talk about how to increase your Facebook or um, your Facebook traffic and engagement without using Facebook ads. Um, so if you don't know me, my name is Abigail White and I'm the graphic designer and owner of Abigail White Co. Um, I also do some branding uh, work. I have a promo today on my Facebook page, which is um, free brand consultations. Uh, so it's only today. So if you want to go over, scroll down on my page and find that. Uh, if you haven't, if we haven't been acquainted, feel free to send me a message. I love meeting new people. So let's dive in. Um, we're going to talk again about how to increase traffic organically on your Facebook page um, without the use of ads. Not to say that Facebook ads are useless. Facebook ads are a very, very powerful tool uh, that I've yet to master. So I'm not going to <laughs> try to dive in to that today, but there are plenty of people out there who are super experts on Facebook ads and I highly recommend that you check them out. But we're going to talk first about sharing your business page posts to your personal page. So I have one page, which is Abigail White Co., and I have my personal page, which is Abigail White. And I often, when I have an offer that I specifically want people to engage with and respond to, I share it over to my personal page. I post it on my business page, but I, I click that share button and I send it over to my personal page. Um, and the point of this is to uh, let people know about your Facebook page that may not know about it, may not be interested in it. Um, but you know, you're trying to pique that interest. Uh, because if you just post on your personal page, hey, you know, I have this Facebook page, like it, that doesn't really give them a reason or show them the content that you want them to be uh, interested in. So when you take that personal post, that offer, that launch, whatever you want them to engage with, and share it onto your personal page, you never know who you're going to reach. We all have those friends on Facebook who we added five or six years ago, you know, from middle school or high school, or we met them at a party, or they used to be our friend's boyfriend, and now we have no idea why we're still friends with them. But you never know who your post is going to resonate with. I offer business services. I offer branding. Spe I'm a branding specialist and graphic designer. So when I share, when I have shared stuff over to my personal page in the past, I have seen responses from people that I have not heard from in five, six years. People that I totally forgot about, people that I didn't even know who have their little side business that they want, you know, graphic design services for. And I've gotten some business from it. So if you feel like you're being spammy by sharing your, your business posts on your personal page, don't worry about it. You're not losing you're not losing anything from sharing that post over. If people don't like it, they don't like it. And you can either delete it or just forget about it because it's like, whatever, you know, this is my business. I want to, it's part of my life. I want to share it and see if people are interested in what I have to offer. So when you share that business post over to your personal page, make sure that you put the privacy to public um, and not friends only or whatever your posts usually are. Um, because when you make it public and Aunt Sally likes it because she loves you and, you know, you're her niece and it's great. Um, but Aunt Sally has 500 friends who may also be interested in that. And when she likes that, that goes in and it's public, it goes into her friends' news feeds and it goes and they like it and it goes into their friends' news feeds. So making it public only serves to increase the reach of these posts. Um, and make sure that you're going back to your business page, you're checking 
the reach, you're seeing how far that your, your posts are reaching and you're seeing how they're doing. Um, because if you post a lot about one topic and you share it over to your personal page and it's not getting that much, you know, it's not reaching that far, it's not getting that many likes, it's not getting that much engagement, then maybe try, try sharing something else. It takes a lot of tweaking and it takes a lot of experimenting. Um, the next thing I want to do is talk about making posts on your business page that are engagement ready. So what this means is creating posts that have whether questions or calls to action, even riddles, whatever, um, that allow the, your audience to interact with you. And this question or this idea or whatever needs to be above the fold. So they shouldn't have to click see more to read whatever you're asking them to do. So whether you're asking for advice or asking for tips or just trying to get some personal information out of your audience, you know, say like, what's your favorite color? You know, what do you love about Sundays? Whatever. I've seen that a lot. Um, or where are you from? You know, where in the world is my audience? But it's not these posts that really matter, but the engagement on them does. So when people are commenting and they're giving you answers, then Facebook says, oh, hey, this post is putting out some really valuable content that people are interested in. So then next week when you post about a sale or an offer you're having or you post about something um, that you want people to engage with, Facebook will say, well, people have liked their posts in the past, so I'm going to bring it right to the top of their newsfeed. Um, so it's a little trick to the Facebook algorithm. Uh, one mistake I do see with engagement ready posts is you have say you have two images or you have two things and you say which one would you like um, and all the comments are you know one one two 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 one one two um, Facebook doesn't see that as a good a good comment Facebook sees comments that are more than three words as actual engagement and then it will start to register with Facebook's algorithm and put you to the top of the newsfeed more often. Um, so when you're creating these posts, make sure that you're giving people the opportunity to say more and you're giving them the opportunity to not write a paragraph, but, you know, just write a couple words, a sentence, you know, about whatever you're asking them. The last thing I want to say is that you need to make your Facebook page visible and accessible to people. So when you're sharing it over to your personal page, when you're sharing it into groups, when you're, you know, talking about your content and tagging your page in, and tagging your page in, you know, whatever, in comments and stuff saying, hey, check out my page. Um, you also need to just make sure that people know about your Facebook page. Make sure that you have links everywhere. So the most likes I've gotten from my Facebook page is putting it as my job description on my face on my personal Facebook page so when you go to my profile and it says like you see my profile picture and then right below it it says graphic designer at Abigail White Co and it's a tag to my page and people can click it and they can go like my page I would say in I get about 10 to 15 likes a week that way which is you know better than zero so make sure that people have the opportunity to like your page and it's visible to them. So if you're in any Facebook groups or, you know, you're just talking on Facebook, commenting and stuff and people say, oh, who's this girl or who's this guy or whatever, and they put and they click on your profile, it's right there for them. It's so accessible. They don't have to scroll through your posts and say like, oh, you know, I don't know what this person does. They can find that very easily. Um, and so just make sure that Again, you're sharing your business posts over to your pay, over to your personal page. You're creating those engagement ready posts that warrant comments that are more than three words. Um, and you're put your Facebook page in your job description. Make your Facebook page visible. And right now, go to your Facebook page, your personal page, and say, "I have a Facebook page. This is what I talk about. Maybe you might want to like it. Invite your friends to like it. If they don't like it, again, you're not losing anything from." inviting them. So that is all I have to say. If you found this content valuable, feel free to share it. Um, if you want to know more about me, you can visit my website, which is abigailwhite.co. Um, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it.